Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to create checkboxes in Word. So you can do it a couple different ways. One way is if you just want to print it, we can do it a quick and easy way by using bullets. A second way is if you want to be able to tick the boxes in Word like this. I'll show you how to do that as well. So let me pull over my document. I have my list made out. The first way, it's pretty simple if you just want to print the list and have the checkboxes. All you have to do is make your list, highlight, come over here to your bullets, drop that down. Now we see them here because I've used this recently, but what you're going to have to do if you haven't done this before is go to define new bullet, then under bullet character go to symbol, and go to wingdings. You see it might be on another option if you haven't opened this before, but just type wingdings. And then find the box that you want to use. I like this one, so I'm going to select it and say OK. Say OK one more time, and now it creates my checkboxes. Now, for some reason, it creates an indent when you do this. So all you have to do to undo that is highlight it, come over here to the pop out under paragraph, and under indentation, change that to zero and say OK. And that pops it back into left alignment. So that's the first way if you just want to print the list. The second way if you want to be able to tick the boxes in Word. You can't highlight it all and do it all at once unfortunately. We have to do this one by one. But uh, I'll show you how to do that pretty quickly. So if you haven't done so already you have to get the developer tab to show up and the way you do that is go to file options and you want to customize ribbon and in the right column over here go down to developer that is probably not going to be checked if you haven't enabled this already. So go ahead and check that box and say OK. And now your developer tab should pop up. Now put your cursor to the left of your item. Come up here to developer. And you want to select that checkbox. Now I really don't like the way that it butts it up next to it. So click off of it and then place your cursor just to the left of, of your word. And then put a space in there. Now, like I mentioned, you have to do this uh, for each item. I haven't found a way to, to do it on a mass scale like that you can with the other ones when you're doing it through a bullet point. So what I do is highlight my checkbox in the little space, and I'm going to press Control c and that's going to copy it. And then I place my cursor to the left of my next item, and I'm going to hit Control v and I'm going to do this for each item all the way down. And now I have checkboxes that I can tick. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment those below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.